so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to talk about the uh, how we can share this um, x in the blender uh, same like this vector image okay and uh, in the last video we just talk about how we can model if you guys didn't see that video yet so go and watch it out in that video i talk about each and everything how we can model these things and how we can model uh, this blade basically i've shown you some modeling trick there so if you didn't watch the, that video so i will give the link into the description i will give the link into the i button also you can go and check it out that video so today's video we are going to shade this uh, x basically okay and here we have have some shading uh, effect basically we'll just use it and we'll just add the shading okay so first one i'm just going to move to my uh, shading panel from here and then i'm just going to uh, open that image basically reference basically okay so first of all we'll create this blade part so for, for creating this blade part i will add one new material from here and i'm just going to move it here to here and from here i'm just going to increase my metallic value so it should be one then i'm just going to decrease little roughness yeah that's look fine and here you can see we have uh, some uh, diagonal lines here okay so we'll also create these lines so for creating these line i will just use the um, wave texture so what i will do exactly i'm just going to add this wave texture here and then i will just add one um, color ramp in between here then i'm just going to plug this color to color and i'm just going to plug this color as a fac so here we can see some um, lines here okay basically so first one i'm just going to change this line as a diagonal line so here we have uh, some diagonal line and which is quite similar here we can see basically because first one i'm just going to decrease the scale uh, basically these radial lines and that look fine and then we'll change the color first of all so i'm just going to use as a little uh, dark gray basically these are little dark yeah we can use little white and that should be little dark yeah i think yeah i think that look fine and then i'm just going to decrease the position from here to here so we will get some sharp uh, edges basically here you can see we have some sharp edges and that's look fine we can decrease the scale little bit so i think that much the scale is look fine to me okay and here you can see guys here we have uh, some um, wrong um, diagonal lines here okay which is we can't see here here we have uh, some continue effects so how we can get that effect basically so we have to just change the uh, some setting from here okay so first one i'm just going to add the texture coordinate into this wave texture so for that i'm just going to press the control t and you will get the texture coordinate from here and then i'm just going to change this generate as a object so here you can see now we have a continuous line here and now that's look fine and we can just decrease the scale first of all yeah so here you can see we have a quite similar thing which is we can see into our reference okay so i think we should uh, decrease it from here to here and now that's look fine so here you can see that's look great by the way and if you want to change the color little bit you want to change the color little white yeah i think that's look fine okay so here you can see we have a uh, some similar effect here which is we can see into our this reference image okay now we'll create this uh, golden kind of effect basically this is our kind of gradient effect so for creating this gradient effect i'm just going to uh, use the new material from here then i'm just going to add one color ramp pressing the control a and here i'm just going to search the color ramp sorry color ramp i'm going to plug this color ramp here to here and here we have uh, that kind of effect here you can see so first of all i'm just going to change the color into a little yellow a yeah, little orange here to a red okay and right now we can't see any kind of combination in between here so if i'm just going to move this slider here to here so we can see little combination but first of all we have to increase this metallic value to one and decrease little roughness and then we'll just create uh, this effect so i think it should be a little yellow and we should change as a renewal to the cardinal yeah that's look fine and here you can see we have uh, some quite uh, similar effect here now we can just play with our positions yeah i think that look fine okay and uh, we'll use the that same effect basically we'll use the same material 
so now we have a some uh, similar looking effect here as well okay so now i'm just going to copy this material into this part as well because we have a same material here as well i'm just going to press the select this object first of all then i'm just going to select this object then i will just press the control l and here i will just make link as a material so here you can see we have a same material here and if you want to change the color little bit so you can change the color so i think that's look fine yeah we can change little radius as well yeah i think that look quite fine okay we can enable our render view yeah so i think that's look fine if we want to increase little red so we can do little red yeah i think that's look fine then for that we'll use also same thing we'll just uh, copy this material here to here first of all material then i'm just going to detach this material from here then this is free now okay so we'll change the color as a red and that one will change little yeah i think that's look great we don't need to change anything we don't need to change anything okay and after that i'm just going to select this one and here i'm just going to add new material from here i'm just going to change this color a little darker something like that and we can play with this color i think that's look great and we'll use the same material in this part as well yeah so here you can see we have a, a perfect x here and that's look fine here you can see we have that perfect material as well okay and that's look great so if you didn't watch the part one where we did the modeling so make sure you watch that part first then you should come here and you should uh, see how we can create some material for this x and that's look fine we have to just add the a camera into our scene and then we have to just hit the f12 and after that we'll get this kind of effect here and we can get this result basically and that look awesome that look perfect basically here you can see guys that is a complete tutorial basically uh, we create some material for this and that and that's look nice by the way one more thing i just want to tell you guys uh, if you guys want to do practice on this project file so you can download this project file from the description that will be free for my all subscriber and you will get the all these material all these shader along with this file and you will also get this reference image so don't worry about it you can just download it and if you enjoy this video if you learn something new from this video so make sure you hit the like button and uh, thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys